Greetings everyone, myself Tarnbridge Singh. Today I will be giving you a tutorial on Comsol Multiphysics simulation tool. I am using the 6.0 version. You might be using the later one, so proceed accordingly. So this will open when you open the Comsol Multiphysics 6.0. Here we will select the model wizard. 3D and in selection of physics, we will select the heat transfer, then in electromagnetic heating and microwave heating, add it to our physics interfaces. It will ask us about the study. So, here we will use the frequency transient study that is. We will provide the frequency and we will also provide the processing thing. Done. So this will open up. Here you have the model builder wizard. And everything pertaining to the modeling will be considered here. Then it is the set settings wizard. Every item on the model builder will be calibrated here and it is our window and this is the study wizard and material wizard we have already added a the study we can remove it and we will left with the material wizard here there are some parameters so sometimes we have to use a numeric value again and again we can use a shortcut, make a shortcut here. So let's just say, uh, I want to make a shortcut about the width of the oven. WO expression is 294 mm. And then we can also add the description width of oven. Depth of oven 254 mm. Height of oven 180 mm. So you can have n number of expressions here. So let us begin with our modeling. We will go to geometry, then uh, we will make our cavity by selecting a block. Width is WO, depth is DO, and H is height is HO. So, it's giving us a solid block of our specified dimensions. We can use the wireframe rendering to give us a skeleton of the basic microwave oven. So, here what we want is that the 0, 0 coordinate of the XY plane should coincide with the center of the base. So, we will move it a bit. Start point five and minus TO start point five. Well selected isometric view. Here it is. So here now you can see the zero comma zero coordinate system of the XY plane coincide with the base of the microwave oven. Now we will model the waveguide width will be as per our so every modeling will be done as per the dimensions of the experimental assembly so keep that in mind and uh, the units should always be considered here it's in meters but i'm giving a value 30 mm for that i will add mm in a square bracket mm well selected so i will move it to the location of the waveguide move this cuboid to the location of the waveguide that is minus w naught star 0.5 it's all basic arithmetic from here on and minus 30 mm minus 80 star 0.5 Mm. and h naught star 
back to our isometric view. So we are done with the modeling of the micro applicator. We will move on to the glass plate. For glass plate, I'm going to be selecting a cylinder of radius 100 mm, height 5 mm. And also I'm going to give it a little bit of lift 5 mm. So I will be modeling a charcoal block for studying its heating characteristics for that i will make a block small block not such hefty one and so here it is we'll position it accordingly so here after isometric view we have x y view y z view and x z view so I am going to XY view and this is the corner of which we will give us the input. So minus 5 star 0.5 centimeter. Then again the Y coordinate also 5 star 0.5 centimeter. So when we will go to YZ it will show that it's on the base. So give it a lift 10 star or uh, 1 mm. So it's been placed on the glass plate. So it's just the basic modeling. There are also another inputs, geometric input, boolean and partitions, transform. Uh, you can model this is very basic tutorial and it will be pertaining to the microwave processing only and to model complex geometries uh, you can consider going to youtube and studying the modeling in console here i will only be discussing about the microwave processing aspect so done with our modeling of the basic charcoal setup form union will select it then we will move on to materials so here no entity has been given a material so let's just begin with air search for air in the material category so microwave or oh, sorry console will have a large directory of materials so we will select air from that and allocate air to only the waveguide and the cavity initially it was allocated all to all the uh, components of the model here from this clear selection we have deselected it and given it to cavity and waveguide only so then we will add copper to the walls of the waveguide and microwave cavity the copper will be the built-in copper so here in geometric entity level for air waves domain and copper as we are giving it to the poles we will select the boundary geometric entity level and select all the walls not this one uh, here we will add a port for our magnetron so as you can see all the more walls are covered here now i want to add a blank blank materials are added so that if you want to change or uh, add a material that is not in the library or you have the values for the material we can simply add those value here so we will select the glass and uh, there are the material contents for glass we will add the values label will be glass so permittivity of glass is 2.55 permeability 1 and electrical conductivity 0 i will add another blank model for charcoal and add the material properties select the component and add the material properties of charcoal
1300 just keep in mind the units you might be having a value of different unit and a different unit value is required so keep that in mind while adding the values so here i have added the values and done with our materials now we'll move on to electromagnetic waves here uh don't change any value if you don't know what are you doing just keep in mind that and we're going to add the boundary condition of electromagnetic waves and frequency here go to physics then boundaries then port as i have said this will be the magnetron and port entry so type of port we are going to using is rectangular and the power input to the port will be 900 watt corresponding to the power of the magnetron then we'll be add the impedance boundary condition on the walls of the microwave cavity and waveguide so rotating our model in a 3d axis we will, we will use the left click and to translate it in the xyz axis we will use the right click and to zoom in and out we will use the scroller here we have the zoom in zoom out also so in the heat transfer we have all we we will only be modeling the heating in the charcoal block so we will be deselecting everything else and selecting that all only the reference temperature that is initial temperature we or we can give it an any value then thermal insulation is already a boundary condition that is already been applied then we will move on to meshing so here meshing as you know is a very important parameter in co uh, computational studies that because it evaluates the model and give an accurate value but keeping in mind the meshing should be so that the computational processing the processing time should be minimum so it's a given take so to develop an accurate results we sh the computational uh, time should also be less so i recommend going through different research articles and evaluating what meshing is type of meshing is used here i will only be using the physical control mesh and we can also go to the user controlled mesh where we can select an individual entity and give it our own mesh characteristics so giving going back to the physics controlled mesh so have i uh, have been done with the meshing modeling and material allocation and boundary condition then we'll move on to the study so frequency unit that is gigahertz we will add first remove everything and then we will add 2.45 gigahertz then the time dependent study will be for 100 seconds with a time step of 10 seconds now we will compute the study so we we'll first go on to our results so two results are given by default that is the electric field and the temperature so first multi slice so here the x y z planes are shown uh, we can have a desired value of the x y z plane this added 
here and plot so as per our value it will go on to its desired look or uh, our desired location then we can also select its range then its maximum value and its minimum value the coloring style can also be selected there where uh, uh, in the directory of the console different coloring styles so this is the electric field then we will we have the temperature here the temperature is showing of our 100 second but we uh, we will have 10 values here as per our time step we can select it and just like the electric field we can also add what a desired range colored values so it's a very basic microwave processing model it can be further complex as per your experimental assembly along with this video i will also be sharing the documentation provided by console multiphysics that is the heating of a potato here uh, it gives a basic step by step step introduction to console microprocessing only so best of luck and best of luck uh, for using console thank you